On 17th February, we have seven holy founders of the Servite Order. Today, can you ever imagine in this consumeristic world that all on a sudden seven famous businessmen in New York leave their homes and career to live together in solitude and prayer? May seem impossible as wealth is everything today. However, the world would be surprised and be led to reflect on its values because of the radical decision of the merchants. This is what took place around 1233 and today we remember these seven holy founders who dared to be different. Yes, seven wealthy, well-known cloth merchants lived in Florence, Italy in the mid-13th century. Two married, two widowed, three single, all well-known merchants. They found themselves in a society in which many people ignore God's law. Riches and the easy life meant more to these people than the love of the poor and service to the needy. These seven men decided to withdraw from the city and to lead lives of prayer and penance. They chose to turn their lives over to God and give witness to all that is good and true. It took great courage for these men to live their prosperous business and live a life of prayer and penance. They had been leaders in society, so their decision to change their way of living caused a stir and inspired others to rethink their values and make some changes in their lives. Community members combined monastic life and active ministry. In the monastery, they led a life of prayer, work and silence, while in the active apostolate, they engaged in parochial work, teaching, preaching and other ministerial activities. This group of men fostered devotion to the Blessed Virgin, particularly in her seven sorrows. They called themselves the servants of Mary or Servites. Eventually, all the founders but Alexis were ordained. When their order was finally approved, Alexis was the only founder still living. The time in which the seven Servite founders lived is very easily comparable to the situation in which we find ourselves today. In fact, as the saying goes, we are in the best of times and the worst of times. Some perhaps, many feel called to a counter-cultural life, even in religion. All of us are faced in a new and urgent way with the challenge to make our lives decisively centered in Christ. Are we ready?